Welcome to part two of Vector Builder's seminar about the development of IBT mRNA therapeutics. In this section, we will explore a variety of case studies and in vivo validation data for IBT mRNA produced at Vector Builder. In part one of our seminar, I discussed the variety of options that researchers must consider when manufacturing their LNP mRNA therapeutic. Vector Builder offers end-to-end -end solutions for the development of IVT mRNA therapeutics, including IVT vector cloning, plasmid preparation, and in vitro transcription. Following IVT, we offer multiple purification methods, lipid nanoparticle encapsulation, and thorough quality control. Following production of your mRNA therapeutic, Vector Builder also offers a variety of in vitro and in vivo validation services which can be utilized to enhance and optimize the development of your mRNA. To begin, let's first focus on the delivery of RNA with lipid nanoparticles. In most experiments, conventional transfection reagents are used for gene delivery. In figure one, JIRCAT and 293T cells were transfected with an equal amount of EGFP mRNA, either delivered by conventional transfection reagents or with lipid nanoparticles. As demonstrated by both flow cytometry and fluorescence microscopy, the LNP encapsulated mRNA was able to more efficiently express EGFP, indicating that lipid nanoparticles can deliver mRNA more efficiently in vitro compared to conventional transfection reagents. In addition, the choice of lipid nanoparticle formulation has a drastic effect on its ability to deliver mRNA to cells. Extending this further, lipid nanoparticles can also be used to deliver a variety of RNA molecules to cells, including siRNA. In figure two, mice were administered LNP encapsulated siRNA targeting the gene PCSK9. As shown by measurement of serum PCSK9 by ELISA, compared to PBS treated and LNP encapsulated non-targeting siRNA control, the targeting siRNA was able to efficiently knock down PCSK9 leading to a significant reduction in overall PCSK9 protein. In addition to delivery of siRNA, gene silencing and knockout can be performed using IVT, Cas9, mRNA, and a guide RNA. Figure three demonstrates the ability of Cas9 mRNA to edit in vitro. In this assay, 293T cells expressing EGFP were transfected with Cas9 mRNA and two different guide RNA is targeting the EGFP gene. As measured by fluorescence microscopy and flow cytometry at 48 and 72 hours after transfection with Cas9 mRNA, a significant decrease in fluorescence intensity can be observed. In addition, editing of the EGFP gene was confirmed with a T7E1 assay and with Sanger sequencing. Overall, this indicates that delivery of Cas9 IVT mRNA is a viable option for gene delivery and editing in vitro. Further, gene knockout can be extended to in vivo systems as demonstrated by figure four. In this experiment, mice were treated with different amounts of lipid nanoparticle encapsulated mRNA that was produced either through chemical synthesis or by in vitro transcription. Although 1.5 micrograms of mRNA per gram was not sufficient to induce noticeable editing, both 3 micrograms of IVT and chemically synthesized mRNA were able to induce similar levels of editing at both 2 and 7 days post-injection, confirmed by the T7E1 assay. Overall, this indicates that delivery of IVT mRNA encoding for Cas9 is a viable method for gene knockout both in vitro and in vivo. One of the most promising areas of IVT mRNA therapeutic development has been in the realms of vaccines, thanks to the development of the COVID-19 mRNA vaccinations. In this case study shown in figure five, Vector Builder collaborated to develop a preclinical viral vaccine to two different viral antigens. Following administration of IVT mRNA encoding for the two different antigens, the mice were able to amount a quantifiable immune response as measured by interferon gamma ELISA spot assay. As mentioned in the previous seminar, when developing an mRNA therapeutic or vaccine, 
modified nucleotides can be incorporated into the IBT reaction to enhance expression and reduce nonspecific immune responses to RNA. Here we can see that the addition of N1 methyl pseudouracil into a luciferase mRNA results in enhanced expression of luciferase at 6 and 24 hours post injection compared to mRNA with normal uracil. In addition, the incorporation of this modified nucleotide resulted in a reduced nonspecific immune response as measured by IL-6 and TNF-alpha in serum 48 hours after injection. Overall, the addition of modified nucleotides can enhance the expression and safety of your mRNA therapeutic. Another thing to take into consideration when developing your therapeutic is the site and method of injection of your LNP mRNA. One method that has been used to target LNPs to specific tissues or alter tissue specificity has been to conjugate targeting antibodies to the particle. Figure 7 demonstrates that administration of LNPs conjugated with nonspecific IgG2A result in high levels of mRNA expression in the liver and spleen. However, by conjugating an anti-CD31 antibody to the lipid nanoparticles, this expression was directed more to the lungs. These data indicate that Vector Builder can help develop tissue-targeted LNP mRNA therapeutics. Another exciting development in the field of IBT mRNA has been the use of self-amplifying mRNA, which is a type of RNA that carries the genetic information to produce not only the target protein, but also the components necessary for mRNA replication in the host cells. This unique property allows for increased protein expression and has potential applications in vaccine development and gene therapy. As shown in figure eight, administration of self-amplifying luciferase mRNA results in drastically enhanced expression of the target protein with expression maintained eight days after injection. These case studies and in vivo validation data highlight the many considerations that researchers need to consider when developing their own mRNA therapeutic. Vector Builder offers end-to-end -end solutions for IVT mRNA therapeutic development from design to therapy. In addition, we offer a variety of in vitro and in vivo validation services to help enhance and optimize your mRNA therapeutic design. Thank you for your attention and scan or visit vectorbuilder.com today to get started on your IBT mRNA therapeutic journey.